I'm Gail. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to explain the shipping process. The way the shipping is right now is um, many airlines are not shipping animals. So it's quite a complicated process to go through and very expensive. So the first thing is today American is the only airline that we know of that is shipping. It's quite expensive and it takes a long time to book the flight. I sat on hold for over an hour the first time and didn't even make the connection. So first you have to make sure that your airport ships and your receiving airport does receive. The next thing to do is make a reservation is to line up your health certificate because airlines do require health certificate from your veterinarian. And your veterinarian uh, will fill this out. He will make contact with the Department of Agriculture in your state or the state that the animals are going to. And then most states require a permit number for the health certificate. So the veterinarian inspects the animals, makes sure there's no issues. That's for your own safety and benefit. I like to do it the day before the um, shipping, just to make sure they've seen them um, immediately before shipping. Then you have to have a special shipping crate, which we have here. They're ventilated on all three, on both ends, the sides and the top. Um, some require ventilation on the sides, but since these are specific crates, they do have ventilation on top, which allows for airflow all the way around. They ask you to put something in for, um, until the airplane is over. It's loud. Okay. We do put some oranges and apples in the crate just for um, the animals safety and well-being and something to munch on just in case it gets um, a long trip. They probably won't, but we do anyway. So some of these, these girls are, are, are happy about traveling and some really don't care. So there's small bits of food, some moisture in there, and then we can close it up. Once the, the, um, the cargo people inspect it, they will put zip ties in it. We'll stack the two crates, tape them up, and the animal should be good to go. There's one little guy in this one because he's separated. Um, for this shipper, I, am, I do have both crates prepared. We're gonna try to send two crates for the same price, but if it's more expensive, we will condense the girls and the boy at the same time. The last thing that we have to do is we have several forms that we had to print off from the airline to have some of them I sign as the shipper and some the veterinarian. There's a breed verification form, which is mostly for cats and dogs. There's an acclimation letter which tells what temperatures the, ha the hedgehogs can uh, um, be exposed to. And then finally there's a, an acknowledgement that stuff happens if the airport will be sued or claimed that sometimes um, animals are lost in travel and that, that can happen. So now we've got all of our paperwork, we've got the animals packaged, we have our health certificate and we're ready to go. So giving you an update, we're at the airport. There is, we weigh the animals, we have them on scale. This is how we normally ship, and then we tape the two crates together. Um, but they're on the phone, trying to find out if this is okay from this airport, because we normally do it with other airports. So if this doesn't work, we will repack. So I'm back in my car, 55 minutes later from entering the cargo office. So what happens is when you go in, you have to talk to the inspector um, at the counter, basically. And a lot of the people at the counter have, some have shipped, some have not. The rules are constantly changing. So in this case, um, the gal had never um, experienced shipping two of the crates stacked on top of each other. So therefore she um, called and um, Today, the rules changed. So I was prepared. I was able to put all six animals in one container. It's not ideal, but we were prepared. So this is kind of the reason why I only ship under very specific circumstances. Number one, the distance over two hours to the airport, um, the time it takes to book, over an hour and a half to book, and then an hour at the airport. And now we're gonna be hanging around the Detroit area for a couple hours until I'll make sure that those hedgehogs do get on the plane and make it from Chicago to their destination. If they should happen to get stuck in Chicago, which has happened before, we may have to go and pick them up there. So, um, unfortunately, um, shipping is not an easy adventure and it's also quite costly. It was $345 just for the flight and that's 
not including the health certificate um, and the cost of the animals. So thank you. Hopefully you enjoyed this little bit about shipping.